Hey folks, and welcome to this video in the Rhapsody Power Pack series. I'm Andy Lapping, and in this video, I'll show you another couple of navigation options, this time for generalization. Let's start with something simple. Here in the model browser, I have a block, B2, that has a generalization relationship to block B1. But how do I locate block B1? Well, with the base Rhapsody features, I open the features view, I select the general tab, I click the properties button next to the base class field to open a second features view, I click locate in that second features view, and then I close that second features view and close the first features view so I can see what I just located. It's possible, but it's laborious. Now I find that block B1 has a generalization to block B0. If I want to find that, I have to go through that same set of steps. If you have a lot of generalizations, that can get old very quickly. And that's very common to find that between stereotypes in complex profiles like AutoZar, UAF, even M2M. Just by way of example, I've dragged just a few of the stereotypes from the UAF profile onto a diagram, and then I've asked Rhapsody to complete the relationships. Now, not only is there a complex hierarchy of generalization here, but a lot of the stereotypes inherit from multiple other stereotypes. Let's locate this operational mitigation stereotype in the browser. And there we can see its generalization. If I right click that, then I can see the first navigation option, Power Pack Navigate to Base. If you're in Rhapsody 10, then you can also use the toolbar button, the menu, or the keyboard shortcut. It's much quicker, it's much easier than using Rhapsody's own navigation. But there is another more powerful way, especially when you have multiple generalizations like we have here. Let's locate the operational mitigation stereotype again. But this time, instead of right clicking the generalization, I'll right click its owner, in this case, the stereotype. The Power Pack provides additional model browsers such as this one Browse Stereotype Inheritance. This browser allows me to navigate the complete hierarchy of generalization in a much more convenient way. By the way, if you have a keyboard with a numeric keypad on it, then pressing the star button on that number pad will fully expand any of Rhapsody's model browsers. Well, that's it for this video. Over the course of this series, we'll explore the rest of the Rhapsody Power Pack features that will greatly improve your Rhapsody user experience. So please do subscribe if you want to be notified as those videos get published. But for now, thanks for watching. <laughs>